Championship Wrestling is coming at you. Wrestling the way it was meant to be. Old style. Now your host for Ron's Championship Wrestling. Wrestling fans, welcome to another edition of Ron's Championship Wrestling. My name is Gene Ristano. I'm going to be calling the play-by-play. -play. And with me, the living legend himself, Mr. Ron Wright and wrestling fans on today's show and Ron, we've got some big matches here on today's show we've got big money marcus going one-on-one -on -one with rick cannon and a tag team match for dirty white boy tony anthony against a man you've personally brought into ron championship wrestling white lightning tim horner that's right we got a good card going on here and uh, want everybody to stay tuned every saturday and watch these matches and give us a little time to get it going though this cold weather's really been knocking us down here the last few weeks but maybe we're going to get into a little better weather and get things really rocking and rolling it sure has well we've got some hot wrestling action here on this edition of ron's championship wrestling and ron how's ron's wrestling school going i understand it's, it's doing great here right it's now it's doing great and uh just anybody you know that wants to get involved with professional wrestling get a good kick off and get started just give us a call down there on that wrestling hotline 865-973-8092 we'll be glad to work with you and wrestling fans, we'll kick things off with our opening contest just a moment here on Ron's Championship Wrestling. Hey, wrestling fans. Having car problems or are you just trying to avoid them? Well, in either case, get over to Economy Auto Service on East Magnolia Avenue. From transmissions to tune-ups, parts, or even if you don't know what the problem is, Economy Auto Service has bumper-to-bumper -bumper service to take care of your auto problem. That's Economy Auto Service at 1925 East Magnolia Avenue, or call them at 522-7845. Once again, that's Economy Auto Service, 1925 East Magnolia Avenue, or 522-7845. Tell them Ron sent you. Hello there, wrestling fans. None other than Ron Wright from Ron's Championship Wrestling right here in Knoxville, Tennessee. I want to introduce you to a good friend of mine just in case you ever need bonded out of jail here or anywhere in this part of the country in Knoxville. Mr. Brent Woods, a man you need to call. Thanks, Ron. Well, I'm Brent Woods with Tennessee Bonding Company. If you ever go to jail in Anderson, Knox, Jefferson, Granger, or Cobb County, for your fastest way out of jail, please give me a call. Brent Woods with Tennessee Bonding Company. Hello there, wrestling fans. I'd like to invite anybody out there on TV watching these wrestling programs. If you've got any desire and ambition to be a wrestler, you need to get in touch with us down at Ron's Gym. I've got a weight room down there where we can build your body up, get you in condition, and get you in the ring train you the right way, the way you should be trained, and get you off the ground and get you started in professional wrestling. Give me a call at Ron's Wrestling School. We appreciate it. For the latest on Ron's Championship Wrestling, call the Wrestling Hotline, 865-973-8092. That's the Wrestling Hotline at 865-973-8092. Wrestling fans, our first contest on this edition of Ron's Championship Wrestling singles match, one fall, 10 minute time limit. Your referee, Mr. Scotty Landell. Introducing first from Cheyenne, Wyoming, weighing in at 250 pounds, Rick Cannon. And wrestling fans, his opponent from New York City, weighing in at 270 pounds, Big Money. Oh, you've got that man tabbed right. Big is the name for him because he is one giant. He sure is, Ron. He's one big man and a veteran, too. He's wrestled all over the world, not all just here in the Tennessee. World. He's a good one. You know, it, Gene, it's nice being here with you tonight. I've looked forward to being able to do a wrestling show with you. I know you've done it, had a lot of experience in past different places. And Pleasure working with you. Well, it's great to be in a, in a city with the rich tradition of Knoxville, Tennessee wrestling. Tremendous history here. And what a contrast here, Ron. We've got the veteran and Big Money Marcus against one of our young up-and-comers, Rick Cannon from Cheyenne, Wyoming. It's like Big Money's are getting going here doing a little hair snatching all of a sudden, too. Well, you know a lot about Big Money Marcus. He goes way back here in the Tennessee area. Uh, a very, very tough competitor. Tough competitor. He's He's been up north. He's been to Japan. He's pretty much been all over the world. So he's got talents that uh, he's still got his. In fact, he's a big friend here. 
glad to see some of the tricks he has up the sleeve. Oh, yeah, he's got a lot of miles left here in uh, Ron's championship wrestling. I'm sure he's gunning for that heavyweight title, too, which is currently held by your man, the dirty white boy, Tony Anthony. That's right. He's got it. He tells me he's planning on hanging on to it a while. Well, you know, we've had a lot of problems here with uh, Jeff Anderson and the Dirty White Boy lately. It's going to come to a head here pretty soon. Oh, it definitely will. You know, you can't take it away from that wild man, Jeff Anderson, because he's just like big money Marcus. He's got to be one of the top wrestling competitors in the world. But them two up against anybody, and uh, you're going to see a top match out of it. That's absolutely correct. Uh, headlock here being applied by Rick Cannon. You know, one of the great things about Ron's championship wrestling, uh, Mr. Wright, is the great sound old school style wrestling we have here. You don't see a lot of tables. We don't see chairs here. You're going to see a lot of old style old fundamental style wrestling. wrestling. Trying to get it back the way it used to be and the way the fans love it. Oh, that was a good move on Cannon. Well, that was a hard move there by Rick Cannon. He sent the message here to Big Money Marcus that he means business, Ron. He does. Wrestling fans, we want to remind you, we're going to be back here at the National Guard Armory in Knoxville, Tennessee. Big card, Ron, next Saturday night, February 22nd. Make your plans to be here at the National Guard Armory here in Knoxville. we got a big crowd here tonight for TV taping, and we want to see you back out here next Saturday night also. Well, look at this, Ron. Big Marcus is a big man, but he's quick as a cat. It amazes me how he gets around in the ring to be so big. Well, you know, he can wrestle, Ron, but he can crawl. Oh, yeah. Very, very sound wrestling. Oh, look at that. Look at that chop there to the neck of Rick Cannon. He's getting Rick pretty much worked down now. This he's is really cool. Look at that headbutt. Look at that headbutt. Vicious headbutt, Ron. I think he's got control of this match right now, don't you yeah, think? He definitely got it going his way right now. He sure does. Uh oh. He's going to try here. Oh, look at him hit the kidneys, Ron. Mm, that, that takes a lot of wind out of you, I'll tell you. Well, you know, as a wrestler yourself, getting hit, hit in the kidneys is. Uh, can be very painful. Get hitting in the kidneys, the bread basket, and uh, straight in the tummy can really lay you low and take a whole lot out of you. People don't realize that two or three good punches takes a lot of wind and a lot of durability away from a man. Well, there was a lariat there by Big Money Marcus, and he's really dominated the last uh, three, four has. minutes of this match. Again, it's the inexperience of Rick Cannon. He, he'll get better as time goes on. Oh, look at this one, That's a sunset a flip. Move, a one count. I figured I had him for a good two. Oh, look at that nice takeover with the reversal by Marcus into a cover. Boy, Cannon showed some good sound fundamentals there, Ron. Yeah, he did. Good grasping. You can't, can't take anything no. away from Rick Cannon. No, he's a great competitor. Great to see him here in action. Oh, look at Cannon here. A flying clothesline. He's got Marcus on the run now, Ron. Yeah, he, he's making a good comeback. He sure is. I've been very impressed now with Cannon here the last couple of minutes. I tell you, he's not at 100 percent because he's not got over the the beat that Manny Marcus gave him there in the first two, three or four minutes of this match. Here's a cover. One. He got a two count, but Marcus kicked out with authority. Well, he did. Powerful man. Look at that outfit that Marcus has got. It looks like kind of, kind of like he's a referee. Strange outfit. Meanwhile, Cannon. Working on the back here of Big Money Marcus. Uh, Marcus, uh, I think, is quite surprised by Cannon. Yeah, I think he has kind of surprised him a little bit because he gave Cannon a pretty good shellac in there for the first three or four minutes of that match, and he's rebounded back pretty yeah. good. Yeah, look at Rick Cannon. He's not giving up at all, Ron. He's Boy, fighting he's back. Gone. He's got the heart of a lion. Irish whip. Here comes Cannon. Does see a monkey flip? Oh, Marcus blocked it. Blows that him up. A good block, Rod. Oh, look, he's got his feet on the ropes. He stole one there, Ron. He stole that one, no doubt. He, he stole that victory from Rick Cannon. Rick Cannon was on the roll. Big Money Marcus blocked that monkey flip and pinned him with his foot on the rope. Pinned him with his foot on the rope and got all that leverage pushing down on him and got the pin out of it. Well, it was a great effort by Rick Cannon, but Big Money Marcus gets to Duke here in our opening contest here on Ron's Championship Wrestling. And coming up next, Ron, personality profile with a man that you know very well, Rick Connors. Rick Connors. I had a hand in training Rick back many, many years ago, and Rick done a lot of good wrestling this part of the country, and he, he made some trips out of state and up north and everywhere, and uh, he'll be on personality profile here just shortly. And right now, wrestling fans, let's go to personality profile with Rick Connors. 
personality profile here on Ron's Championship Wrestling. My special guest this week, the legend himself, Rick Connors. Rick, welcome to the program. Appreciate you, Ron. Know about the legend part, but it's nice being here. Good to see you, too. Yeah, well, nice to see you again. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about how you got started in professional wrestling, Rick. Uh, actually, I was, I was a uh, boxer before I was a wrestler, and uh, I, didn't do, I wasn't doing too good at it, so I thought I'd try the wrestling end of it. And uh, I had a <clears throat> friend of mine had to know Ron Ryan. And I got to know Ron Wright, and I got to work it out with him. And uh, Ron was here right now, he came out. He had a, a ring and an old barn, an old tobacco barn up there in Kingsport or somewhere. I got a for him, and it, uh, it was a good place to break in, believe me. And, that, and I trained up there with him, and you couldn't ask for a better guy to train with, because he was about the toughest guy around here at the time. He and his brother both were. So I heard a lot of stories about that ring. They were all true. What year did you break into the sport? Uh, probably about 1971. It was about 71 but during the spring of that year. When did you retire from active competition? Well, I don't know if I've actually retired or not. I, they more or less retired me, I guess. Uh, I still, you know, in the training end of it a little bit. I, I don't wrestle that much myself anymore. But I'm more or less in the, the, the training end of it. You were very active back in Long Fuller Southeastern Championship Wrestling Day. That's where I first saw you working a lot of the TV matches with Garvin and a lot of them. Oh, yeah. Who do you consider your toughest opponent to be from that era? I don't know. It, it'd be hard to say. There were, there were so many good ones. I started with putting Ron Wright up there at the, the top of the list. And they, there was nobody any tougher than Ron Wright. And a real gutsy individual. Uh, Garvin was good. Uh, Orton was good. Uh, I don't know, they, they were, uh, there were so many of I them, mean, it's, it's kind of hard to say. Dicky Steinborn was good, Les Thatcher was good. Uh, Mike Pedusis was in here you know, for a while, was real good. He, Pedusis was probably in here a little, little before the floors, but like I say, I still put Ron and Donnie right up there, just about the tops. Who was your very first match with? Do you remember that? I think that uh, I worked on a small show up in Churchill, Tennessee for a small outfit, and I, and I think I can't even remember what the guy's name was now. I think the first uh, big match I ever had was uh, was in Johnson City, Tennessee at the old uh, rec center up there. The yeah. old rec center, if you remember that. And uh, a young man named Boy Brunson and myself were asked Ron and Don Wright, old cold winter night, about a night like the night, that snow on the ground, and it yeah. was miserable. Anyway, we made the show. What's your most memorable moment? What stands out to you as your proudest moment in the sport? I had, uh, I, I think that uh, during the, I don't know if you remember the Jack Mulligan era, or not, when Mulligan was in here, and we, I had that Bryce Knuckle trophy there, right. who, who I won from Ron Wright. Right. And uh, I think those matches I had with Ron Wright, you know, those were very outstanding. And I still have yeah. people talking about them to this very day. They're still talking I've about them. I've seen you go at it with Ron at the Charlie Park Dance Theater and also up in Kingsport at the Dominant High School. The old Marsh so. Baseball Stadium. So, had a lot of memorable moments. And oh, yeah. You've trained a lot of people. A lot of, I've talked to a lot of people in personality profile, and they give you a lot of credit. And it's a real honor for me to be able to sit down here and talk to you one on one. Well, I appreciate that. I sure appreciate all that you've done for the sport, and we sure appreciate you coming by. Right, it was you. my pleasure. Thank you very much. Looking forward to seeing you at a lot of uh, a lot of matches here with Ron's Championship Wrestling. We want to invite all the fans to keep coming out to the shows. We're trying to go back to the old style, and uh, we'll see you out there shortly at the National Guard Armory and, and the arenas in the rounding area. So let's go back to the studio now for more exciting action. Thank you. Thank you. Well, wrestling fans, we're back here with uh, Ron's Championship Wrestling, and Mr. Wright, that was a great personality profile uh, segment with uh, Rick Connors. The man is uh, really a legend here in East he's Tennessee. A, he's another legend in East Tennessee. He's been around a long, long time. <clears throat> Rick has uh, helped train a lot of wrestlers that came out of this wrestling area, too. He's he has. A he has. He, he's, a, he's a great wrestler in his own right. As you know, you've had many, many battles with him in the past, and... He's also been able to train a lot of wrestlers you see here today on Ron's Championship Wrestling. A lot of veteran wrestlers got their start with Rick Connors. Rick Connors. You know, I was man-trained Rick Connors. I had a 
farm up in East Tennessee and had a big gym out there, and I had a lot of wrestlers up there, trained them, and got a lot of people started in this area, and that's what we're hoping to do right here in Knoxville, Tennessee, with Ron's Wrestling School right downtown Knoxville. So Absolutely. we're hoping to get some more stars produced here and get them in wrestling in a big way. That's right, wrestling fans. Ron Wright, he's going to be the trainer of a lot of the future stars you're going to see here in Knoxville, Tennessee with Ron's Championship Wrestling. Now, wrestling fans, coming up after this break, tag team action with White Lightning Tim Horner and the RCW Heavyweight Champion, the Dirty White Boy, here on Ron's Championship Wrestling. Hello there, wrestling fans. I'd like to invite anybody out there on TV watching these wrestling programs, if you've got any desire and ambition to be a wrestler, you need to get in touch with us down at Ron's Gym. I've got a weight room down there to where we can build your body up, get you in condition, and get you in the ring, train you the right way, the way you should be trained, and get you off the ground and get you started in professional wrestling. Give me a call at Ron's wrestling school we appreciate it hey wrestling fans having car problems or are you just trying to avoid them well in either case get over to economy auto service on east magnolia avenue from transmissions to tune-ups parts or even if you don't know what the problem is economy auto service has bumper to bumper service to take care of your auto problem that's economy auto service in 1925 east magnolia avenue or call them at 522-7845 once again that's economy auto service 1925 east magnolia avenue or 522-7845 tell them ron sent you Hello there, wrestling fans. None other than Ron Wright from Ron's Championship Wrestling right here in Knoxville, Tennessee. I want to introduce you to a good friend of mine just in case you ever need bonded out of jail here anywhere in this part of the country in Knoxville. Mr. Brent Woods, a man you need to call. Thanks, Ron. Well, I'm Brent Woods with Tennessee Bonding Company. If you ever go to jail in Anderson, Knox, Jefferson, Granger, or Cobb County, for your fastest way out of jail, please give me a call. Brent Woods with Tennessee Bonding Company. For the latest on Ron's Championship Wrestling, call the Wrestling Hotline, 865-973-8092. That's the Wrestling Hotline, 865-973-8092. Wrestling fans, our next contest in this edition of Tag of Ron's Championship Wrestling is a tag team match, one fall, with television time remaining. Introducing first, team number one, from Merigo, Tennessee, Dusty Sharp. There's a couple of young wrestlers here, Jonathan McMurray uh, and Dusty Shop. Well, they're going to have their hands full, Ron, going up against the tag team with a dirty white boy and white lightning, Tim Horner. Yeah, I guarantee it. They'll have more than a hands full of them. Too. Your referee for this contest, once again, Mr. Sonny Landell. And wrestling fans, their opponents from Morristown, Tennessee, white lightning, Tim Horner. What, what a great tag team match we're going to be seeing here. White Lightning, Tim Horner, and the ICW heavyweight champion, the Dirty White Boy. Yeah, you've got two good ones in there. I don't know a whole lot about the opponent. Looks like the one over there has got a whole lot of confident look on his face. And we'll just have to see how this thing progresses. Well, Jonathan McMurray and Dusty Shock, they're, they're young wrestlers, Ron. They're trying to move up the ladder. They're trying to make a name for themselves in Ron's championship wrestling. And uh, hopefully a good showing against two veterans like the White Boy and Horner. Uh, will help them move up the ladder in RCW. Yeah, they, they may be hitting a hard uh, block right here to cross over, I'll tell you. That dirty well, white boy and Tim Horner have been pretty much all over the world. Well, well, you know, White Lightning, Tim Horner, uh, Ron, a master technician inside the ring. Yeah, he is. Super amateur wrestler back there. Fantastic. Look at that takeover. Look at what it's done. That man had a long run with... Uh, Rocket Promotions over in Charlotte. Sure sure. Remember the great tag team he had with Brad Armstrong. What a great tag team. Yeah, he was. And, and the Dirty White Boy's been a great uh, tag team wrestler himself, but currently he's the RCW champion. Yeah, Ron, oh, we got right. trouble What y'all need to do is just get over and let, let some real men get in here. Oh, uh, hot ass, yeah. Hot ass, here. Take the hot ass, here. Later, later. 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 Later.
Well, you know, Jeff. Why is White Lightning and Tim Horner in here tonight? What, I don't say think so. I'm saying it's your business. I brought Mr. Tim Horner in here. Well, let me tell you something. That white boy, he's big you enough to sit back there and mind your manners. Listen, I know, know so. Man, come out here and We're talking about looking Horner out there. He's always wanting to suck up. He's a gentleman, not man. like you, coming Everybody, in here interrupting matches. What I want to talk about is White Lightning and Tim Horner. He's the greatest man. Everybody out here in these towns knows if he was a good man, he'd be the sheriff in Hamlin County. But I had something to do with it, and I stopped. Psychological strategy by these two. Uh, yeah, 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 you don't know what you're talking about. Right, yeah, right, boy, you need to go get behind so the keyboard and type something in on the internet so we can all read about it Monday morning. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll do that. At least I can use the computer. Well, that's all right. I can untech and I can type all I need to. Then they put Ron bring you in from North Carolina. Well, what, what's stopping you from going back? You need you a little money to get back. Job. I may keep you. You got a few dollars. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's wrong. Ron wants to bring all these new talent in here. 
to Knoxville and Ron, look at him now, doubling up on him. I want to know what, what you've done to get on the up there. Get this side right over here. I'm about, yeah, I'm about sick and tired of you oh, recruiting all these stinking red that groundhogs from Union County and everywhere around to come over here at these matches Whoops. and holler for somebody like the Dirty White Boy. Come on, White Boy, go ahead and get down. Jeff Anderson is a man that needs everybody. There's white lightning using the elbow right there, and the people sit down in their house, they, they see it right here on Saturday morning. That's what I'm saying, uh, Ron Wright. Oh, look at this super, beautiful vertical super yeah, like fight yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, they, they done finally this done. Oh, we got a double team here. Oh, now look here. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at Ron Wright is the man who can make that happen, wrestling fans. Oh, Ron Wright can put together that power match. These guys come out here, they disgrace, they're a disgrace to Ron's championship Tell wrestling. Tell you what, that was a mess, but I told you when they came out here, they had two top-notch wrestlers right there, and them boys that have a hard time getting over the hunt of the dirty white boy and Tim Horn. We'll see the dirty white boy. Come here a minute, man. Let's I need these guys over here. Just you a minute. Come on over here, gentlemen. That was a super match out there, Mr. Horn. How are you, sir? How you doing, Ron? I'm doing fine. How you doing, Sam? How you doing? I've sat over here kind of been insulted by that Landell and that uh, wild man, and they're challenging you to a match for your title right here on TV the next take. And what do you think about that? Well, what I think about that is me and Jeff Anderson, we go way, way back, and everybody knows it. Amen. We've been tag team partners. We fought against one another. We've run up and down the roads. But I tell you what, ever since he's got hooked up with Terry Landell, he's been nothing but a thorn in my side. Backstabbing, yellow spine. Stop, 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 stop. Calm, calm your nerves there. Don't they? You, you, we I got children out here. About. Well, but I'll tell you what, Jeff that. Anderson, any time you want a shot at this big butt right here, all you have to do is crawl in the ring because let me tell you something, brother. I've been to Maine, Spain, Spokane, and back again. I've dined with the kings. I've made love to the queens. And I've slept in L.A. pork and beans. There ain't Amen. no part of town that the white boy ain't seen. So any time, if you want it next week, that is fine. All you have to do is crawl into the ring. Jeff, this right here, it means a lot. But to get you in the ring, I'll put it aside. That's I'll put it on. Deal. I'll do whatever you want to do. All I'm wanting to do is get one shot at you. You got anything to say while I'm... You shake my hand and I'll have that contract drawed up and you'll sign it right back to I appreciate it very much. Have you on. I would like to say, Ron, it's a, it's a pleasure as always to see you and to be side by side with my man here. We've been in the ring many times looking at each other and partners. But it don't make any difference to me. As long as I'm here and see these good people in Knoxville, Tennessee, because as he knows and you people know, I'm 230 pounds of romping, stomping, walking, talking, jib jiving, socializing. Woo! I can walk Shut tall you, and I can do it all. And it's time to the Wooden Program. If you've got any desire and ambition to be a wrestler, you need to get in touch with us down at Ron's Gym. I've got a weight room down there to where we can build your body up, get you in condition, and get you in the ring, train you the right way the way you should be trained and get you off the ground and get you started in professional wrestling. Give me a call at Ron's Wrestling School. We appreciate it.